case. <laughs> so, there's a message. This message has taken me about 10 tries to fully grasp and articulate. I've clicked on a video and I have stopped the video, the videos, for so many reasons because I either messed up or I either doubted my interpretation of the message that has been flowing through me and that's very significant that's very significant and pertains to the underlying foundation of this message and the underlying foundation of this message is trial and error knowing that that's a part of life knowing that it's okay to fail sometimes it's okay and it's not only okay it's beneficial for your growth that's that's at the foundation of that this this message and the structure that is built on the foundation is in relation to your identity And within this structure, there are these rooms. And this structure is your identity. And let's say the living room, when you first enter, is your career, right? And there's things on the walls. And you have been... I see that up until now, up until this point, you have been building this structure right and there are times when you have had help you've had assistance from friends family members lovers but the majority of the time you've been building this structure on your own you've been decorating and investing in this structure on your own and there are certain rooms where aesthetically you're just questioning right you're questioning your taste but we'll get to that first room is your career you've been taking your time having patience picking out furniture that looks good to you feels good to you is aesthetically pleasing to you you also, you've switched things around. Sometimes things don't fit. Sometimes the measurements aren't right. Sometimes you got to take items back. Um, but overall, you, you like the way it looks, right? Also, your kitchen is your creative processing. It's the way that you use your hands to create from the skill level that you've developed throughout your lifetime from the outside world you bring them back to this kitchen you create and you consume your creations from this kitchen and your room is your personal taste your personal business your room is your your intimate relationships and your room like you you value you know your bed and you are meticulous about the sheets and the covers and the lighting and it's a sacred space for you. That's your intimate relationships. And there's all these rooms that represents these different parts of yourself. And right now I see that in all of these rooms, 
there's this constant need for attention, attention to detail within all of these rooms, within your living room, within your career. And I also see like once you open the door to this home, like there's something about the energy within this home that is so comforting and it's so beautiful and it's something that like there's this there's this level of appreciation of all the items that you've accumulated until right now that it that brings you a sense of gratitude because you can tell within the little details within your home how each item represents you so well and has a story each item has a story and and it makes you happy to look at all the things that you've gathered and now oh this is the message oh my god the message has the message the message is messaging honey it is time to bring people inside your home. Whoa. It is time. It is time. Also, know that you are protected. Know that spirit is aligning like-minded individuals. Individuals that have your best interest, your highest interest, um, for your highest good. And these souls have great hearts, pure hearts, pure minds, are connected to you, to your story, are on the same healing journey as you are, are mirrors in the most beautiful way. Um, and, and it is time, that is beautiful. It is time to invite people into your home and that represents your life. It is time to represent it's time to invite and and it's this energy of not needing and overly exerting your energy to be seen or even to like create no actually following something I'm following something there is this so it is okay to um, intentionally create space where you're inviting you're inviting loved ones folks that are aligned creative friendships partnerships it is okay to intentionally create space for that so that although you are stepping outside of your comfort zone because I see that it has been possibly difficult for whoever's on the other side of this video, it's possibly been difficult to invite folks in because you've had these walls up. You feel like your home hasn't been prepared. Like, oh, but maybe I just need more of this. And you were a perfectionist. Now you're realizing that there isn't another perfect time but the present moment. The perfect time is now because there's this level of vulnerability that you've had and developed within yourself, within your home. You've accepted its state. You've accepted some of its imperfections, the stories within the items that you've accumulated already, you know that more things are coming. You know that that perfect couch is coming or that perfect table and something is coming, but you know that it's perfect right now in the state that it's in because it represents you and you're still growing. But there is this slow and steadiness to this new found openness where 
as you open up, it is okay to progress slowly, slow and steady wins the race, the turtle spirit, very gracefully um, into this practice of being open because it truly is a practice. Bless you. <laughs> um, someone just sneezed in the hallway. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, opening yourself up, opening your doors. Which is just you opening your heart, I see. Like, your door is your heart. Um, and there are folks that love you. I also see, like, when you welcome folks in, that energy is also... Mirror, mirroring back to you it, it will be a reciprocal relationship of openness once you open up to others people will open up to you new doors will be open to you beautiful homes where you'll be more inspired i also see like you'll you'll be more you'll be more inspired as you, as doors open for you to to homes that you haven't experienced in the past. Also, I see lots of plants. Plants might be something that um, something that you feel like you need more of in your space. <laughs> um, plants are healing. I love plants. Plants are our mother's earth. Mother's earth. <laughs> Mother Earth's gift to to our spaces. Yeah, I'm so happy that there are plants that are able to survive in these ventilated spaces with us. <laughs> with minimal air, fresh air. Um Yeah, thank thank y'all plants. I got I got my my plants right here. They heal me. Every time I touch them, there's one on the side of my bed. Every time I touch her, I just feel so embraced and loved. And I also feel very connected. Like, I feel like we're communicating through ourselves. Very healing, warming energy from these plants in my space yeah I talk to my plants I'm one of those people that communicate with my plants I rise with my plants when I rise I literally sometimes see my plants move when I talk to them um but yeah <laughs> yes plants are healing in your space um but yeah that was my analogy for this message the home the foundation is clarity and and um, mm, the levels of comprehension of ooh of connection, like understanding, understanding and inter understanding and overstanding. Oh, 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 yes, that's the foundation of the home. The levels of comprehension of how everything is connected within your home, how like all of the rooms are connected to each other, and then all of the items in the rooms are connected to stories in the outside world and then how, how all of them have spiritual meanings behind them each other there's a specific item too there's an item that you need to possibly revisit this item a trinket something um i don't know what it is but it's something special you you hold dear in your heart yeah you hold dear to this this item is something that that was gifted to you possibly out of love yes um so that's the message <laughs> wow that 
was totally different than I than I had thought. There was a message that I logically understood, but that message was like, that message was fully embedded in spirit. That was a whole vision. <laughs> so, uh, I love y'all and I hope this resonated with you and your story and your, your life. Shay, much love.